hey fam welcome back to my channel thank you so much for always coming back subscribing commenting and liking my videos so today we're going to do a vegetable beef kidney stir fry and we are having uh, vegetables carrots we have corn flowers we have our beef that I've chopped in this particular shape because I want them to look to appear longer when they cook then we have our kidneys we have also cut them into small pieces so that they can cook all together and then on this plate we have our bell peppers I have the red capsicum I have the green peppers and I have the yellow peppers then I have tomatoes yeah, people always ask me why don't you peel your tomatoes why do you always leave the seeds I just think maybe if you want them like that you can do them but I just don't find any problem having my tomatoes like this so here I chopped the onions long cuts of onions so that they can match the shape of the rest of the food so we are going to first boil these vegetables the hard ones the carrots and the corn flowers in one pot and then on the other side we first pan fry the beef and the kidney so that they are almost ready so here we are with our pot with water so we are going to go in with the hard vegetables and we give these ones a boil of about five minutes so that they are half cooked and then on this pot we are going to go in with some vegetable oil and then we will put our beef and kidney into this one and let them fry for some minutes so that they can lose their own fat and we have ready beef because yeah, I mean, I love cooked, like hard cooked beef, like I love cooked beef. So for them, I'm going to pan fry them first and then... Man, this can burn if you're not careful. And I didn't want to throw them in all together because they would be in one place. So I wanted to spread them and put each one in its position and also after putting this i seasoned with some salt and covered so this has been going in for like one or one and a half minutes so i'm going to turn them and put the other sides also to cook Now the vegetables have been cooking for about 5 to 8 minutes so I'm going to remove them and drain them of the water they've been cooking in. So I'm putting them on this sieve and I am going to open uh, cold water into them so that they stop cooking. You know cold water and then uh, there's a way it retards, it stops the cooking so they will stay crunchy but then half cooked. So here we are, we've just removed from the hot water and then our beef has been going for about 10 minutes and this is how far we have come. The oil has separated from the beef, meaning it's, it's ready. So we are going to also go in and remove it and we are ready to stir fry with the rest of the vegetables. Some people love doing it all together but I just feel like having it ready after, before is, is better so using the same oil in the same pot we are going to go in with the tomatoes because I'm using tomatoes actually because I want to have this with rice and I want some some soup some gravy in it so I'm adding in the tomatoes first and then some little more salt because I already seasoned the beef with salt so I give these ones a stir Not to go so much, then put in the capsicum, the, the bell peppers, the green, yellow and red peppers and give them a stir. And it's like we have our gravy, put in the onions, I throw in the onions and also mix them together. So I'm going to cover them so that they saute and become a little bit softer, not cooked, a little bit softer, ready to eat. So here we are, we have some gravy on the bottom and our vegetables are, are half cooked and they are ready to cook. So we go in with our beef, the already cooked beef because we can fry it. 
and then the vegetables. And we are going to give this a stir and cover for about two to three minutes so that they can all, all the flavors can be absorbed into one dish before we can serve. And yay, here we have our pot of colors full of flavor, full of crunchiness. So we are going to serve. Thank you so much for watching guys. If you haven't subscribed, subscribed, please do, please click it and then don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any uploads. Once again, thank you so much. See you soon. Bye.